Hi guys and welcome back to Heather Green TMD and OGH and today we're back to modelling again and the subject of today's video, as you've guessed from the title anyway, is the turbots. What are we going to do? We're going to start with uh, changing the yellow paint because the yellow stripe is just too garish, it's not a warm yellow like it should be and uh, we're going to batter them up a little bit and for that we're going to use this. And we're going to melt plastic. Let's set fire to something. Well, actually, no. We're not going to set fire to it. That's a bit drastic. We're just going to use it to warm the door. And we're going to distort things. And exactly what I did on my grandpa's wagon. People ask the question. So I'm going to show you this like Dremel gas soldering iron. So tune in. Put your feet up. And uh, let's do a bit of modelling. To the workbench. We're back on the workbench. So this is what we're going to do today. The plan of action is replace the yellow stripe. Now it's only on the top of the doors, simple as easy peasy. However, it's a bit ribbed, it's awkward, and uh, it'll be easier to take the doors off. And luckily on these, they do come off. You can click from the top and uh, pop the doors off and what we're also going to do is replace the incorrect transfers but we're going to paint the yellow first today so it's a case of disassemble the wagon tops take the tops off the lids that allows the top of the doors hopefully to pop off there we go Try not to break the stanchions, they pop off as well. They're a bit tight, they are tight. Just seeing how they come out. Yes, they are glued in there, so they do come apart. Try not to break, try not to break. But I'm just going to carry on and I'm going to hook all the doors off. To ease getting the end doors off, um, I've just run down the edge here with a scalpel, a nice sharp scalpel blade, run it in and it just pops the glue. And that can be done with all the joints. Hand out the way. need a slightly newer blade. There we go, just pops that one. Pop. Luckily the glue isn't the strongest glue in the world. Once you've got the doors off, you can separate them out. So there's one wagon. That way I'm trying to say, but the numbers the only thing that matter when we put them together so you'll, the middle doors are the same the end doors all this detail is the same on both it's just the wagon number so what we've got to do is match the number to the chassis number there and it's all easy and we'll just carry on popping off the door stanchions we're going to glue it all back together again afterwards anyway so it doesn't matter there's, there's only little drops of glue there that's all there was okay, here we have my exploded turbots so the chassis we're not going to do anything with at the minute so we'll just stand them at the back out of the way and these ends they literally just pushed in there was not even any glue on those so they just pop out and that just leaves access to the ends of the doors much easier so we'll just leave those on there as well so that what we got is a load of sides and should be one two three four five six 
one, two, three, four. I've got two stanchions missing somewhere. Oh, here's one on this door. I'll oh, send the other one. We'll just snap them off because we're going to glue them on anyway. The pins are not going to be much use. But, uh, so there we go. So now got the right number of stanchions. They're going to be easy. I'm not going to bother to spray stanchions. I'm just going to get my brush and paint over them. Now the paint that I have of choice, well it's the only paint, uh, tin of yellow I have, is MAC 15 and it's actually what I've used as the warning yellow on my uh, 33050. It's a rebel tin. Um, it's old now, there's not much left, but hopefully it'll be enough to do this. But as you can see, it's a slightly warmer shade of yellow than what is on the wagon at the minute, and hopefully that will make a big difference to the final image of the wagon. So before we start painting, I'm going to experiment on this with the cotton bud and see if I can get the transfer off. Got some enamel thinners. This is the incorrect branding that says uh, minimum radius three meters. Now I'm just going to remove that. Hopefully, a bit of thinners on a cotton bud. And look at that gone. Oh, easy, sweet. So there's one, two. somewhere there it is four Try that end so that'll all be ready for applying the transfers which I've got from Railtech to correct the 31 meter radius that it should be. Although I hadn't realised how small it was at the time, but hey, there we go. So we're all ready. Easy as that. So that came off easy. Cotton bud and a tiny little bit of enamel thinners. Okie doke. So for the masking, I've got my usual Tamiya masking tape in their dispensers. It, honestly, it's the best masking tape for this hobby that I've found so far. I've tried various um, insulation tapes type stuff and ordinary masking tape and you never get a good finish but but uh, the Tamiya stuff is I can honestly say the best for this job. And there we have all eight of the stanchions have got their little belts of uh, masking tape on. A um, bit overkill really because we're just going to brush up the top end so I'm going to find a little brush there. I need to get some new ones I think because they're starting to get a bit ropey. We're going to open the yellow. It's horrible inside so when it comes to airbrushing it's definitely going to need a good straining or something. Um, cocktail stick here and we'll give it a good It's rubbish, the paint is horrible, but it'll do for this job. So uh, that'll do. I'm giving it a couple of minutes stirring. It's still a little bit lumpy, but when it comes to airbrushing, we'll filter it out a bit. So literally. It's just a pale alteration the the actual tone painted by Daypop just makes it a little bit warmer but this is typical with a yellow it's a horrible colour to paint I'm just going to run it on the, on the edge there as well it really is a horrible colour it's quite transparent and being old and as well. Give it some more stirring. It's 
exciting, isn't it, watching paint dry? <laughs> right, so there we have the last of the stanchions done. That's all eight of those done. Simple as that. Whilst we've got the brush out, I'm actually going to touch in the actual box covers because that's that same garish yellow, just a just a tone it down a touch, is it? It doesn't look much different on here actually. It's less obvious than it is on the door. I think that's because these are black underneath rather than grey. But we'll just give it a little general Again, these are going to be weathered afterwards, so uh, probably less obvious. Looks like the pigment is sinking to the bottom of my tin. This paint really has gone past its best. I think it'll be going in the bin after this little project. So I'll do the other one and then we'll get on with the door sides. For the general doors, we're just going to use the larger the masking tape, it's quite easy. And I'm not going to worry too much about getting it in the framework on the door, although the more I can get in the framework, the less seepage there will be when it comes to spraying over the doors. Um, again, let's just work it into the corner. Nice and straight as possible. Up to the, the frame of the door. Now it's not going to be perfect. It doesn't need to be because, like I say, the weathering will hide any bleed under the tape but that's the first one done and then we'll do this one here and then oh, it looks like I've cut the tape too short oh, well. no big disaster we'll just run it straight along there into the corner actually it works out alright with that tape Fold it back so it's out of the way. So it's nice and tight in the channels there. And what I'll do is I won't spray downwards either because we're only going to be misting, misting over the yellow. Just gently, it, it'll be fine. I'll just get another little bit of tape and go over the end. Okay, so the only bit that's going to require special attention is these doors with the data, the number panel on, because we've got to ensure that we cover over that part. So all I'm going to do for this is quite simple, short bit of masking tape, slightly longer, put the scalpel down slightly longer than the data panel. Make sure it's tight up inside, which it is. We'll get a cotton bud for this bit. Just make sure it's down nicely in the corners. Luckily it's quite transparent. Run the finger in there. Sharp scalpel blade, this is probably a little bit blunt now, and just gently draw it through the paper. Now we're not after cutting all the way down or all the way through because we're going to be putting another piece of tape on. 
So then we'll just cut that, rip the last bit off. That's given us a nice straight edge in line at the top. And I'm going to cut down in the corner exactly the same. Peel that off. And then just like that one, I'm just going to run a piece of tape all the way along. There we go. So the tape panel is covered, the stripe is covered, we're ready to go. So I'm going to finish off all the others and then we'll get the airbrush ready and we'll go outside and uh, give them a quick blow over hopefully. And then we'll have to wait for the paint to dry. Okay, welcome to my spray booth. This is called Outside. I've got a Revel Vario airbrush, it's a pretty good bottom feed. Not particularly best for fine detail but for this general blow over it will be fine. I've got air compressor I've set to about 10 psi on the blow and uh, we'll just give a dusting over. The paint has changed. We are now on rail match faded yellow. Because that rebel paint has blocked up the other airbrush and is dead, so we just got to change the tones down. I'm running at 10 psi, just do the tops of the doors. No fancy paint booths. And that is it, all that work. And now it's going to take ages to clean the brushes just for that little bit of dusting. But the colour you'll see better indoors is a much, much paler colour, much more accurate. And uh, I'll see you indoors for the unwrapping. So here we are back in from the outside spray booth, and uh, I've touched up the stanchions with the brush and the paint. I'll say it's the rail match faded yellow. So it's just been a light dusting. I'll just do this one here on the camera as you can see. I'll just take the tape off if I unhook it. Try not to get everything everywhere. And hopefully you will admit the same as me but that looks so much better yellow wise than that hideous colour that Dave Paul put on their wagons. And there we go. Turbot. So I'm going to finish off this video here on the basis that uh, gravity for the wet bit. But uh, we'll let this harden off before we do the next part, probably tomorrow. And then uh, we'll get to burn plastic. 
for those of you who've been waiting. Yeah, sorry, it's not going to be on this video. It's going to be on tomorrow's video. I just want this paint to harden off before I start messing around. But you have to admit, it looks so much better. So, on that note, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if all goes to plan. Enjoy your modelling, stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you then.